time for dessert. We're back and with some strawberry shortcake. In the bakery, they make some wonderful strawberry shortcake. Um, the angel food cake for the strawberry shortcake. This stuff is so nice, light and fluffy. We have some strawberries and I took the took some time just to wash them out and go through them. What I like to do is pick some out, some nice ones, some big ones, for garnish. For the rest of them, it doesn't really matter because they have to be cut up anyway. So what we like to do first is to cut off the crown. And then what I like to do is just quarter. Now if you don't like quartered, you can also slice them, it's not a big deal. As long as they're cut, that their juices will nicely flow and will make a good sauce. If the children are the appropriate age, they can help you slice it, or if they're a little bit younger, they can help you uh, make a bigger mess with uh, playing with the whipping cream. But we'll come to that part later. What we're going to start with now is having a little bit of lemon juice. We're going to use approximately two teaspoons. And the reason why I throw those in, I can add some sugar and the sugar is going to make it too sweet and we just want some fruitiness left into the strawberries. So we're going to add about a half a cup of sugar. And then we're going to mix this like that. And then all that sugar will starts to dissolve and should turn into like a little sauce because all the lemon helps to bleed the strawberries. What some people sometimes like to do is throw some of this mixture into a cuisinart and just get like a little bit more pulp in between the pieces but I think this works just fine. See that the sugar starts to melt and it starts to become like a wonderful thing that will come along with your angel food cake. Now next what we're gonna do is pick up this angel food cake. There's still the foam underneath it so you just can cut straight on there. And we're gonna start to cut slices out of this. And this stuff is so good. Now what I try to do is put it down just like that and then have some strawberries laying on them and then you will have your next piece. Go all the way around. Yeah, you can really see that your strawberries really start to bleed and get soaked into by the angel food cake. This is awesome stuff. The rest of the pieces that you have left over you can put it on the top and then I have some of the ready whip. It's easy for the dads so they don't have to whip up any cream. And because this stuff likes to go everywhere, I like to keep them in the corners and go around the cake. And again, if you mess up, you just blame the kids for that. They're great for that. And as last, we grab the strawberries that we set apart for garnishing. We just cut the strawberries like that and all you do is push on the end just to fan them out that will go really nice on the tray. And it is so simple just by slicing the strawberry up just a little bit that it will make that much more elegant. And even if your strawberry falls apart a little bit, just lay it on top and stick it right where it's supposed to go. And there you go. Happy eating. And for the people that love whipping cream, just can finish off the can.